Hey, they won their first shootout. Coach Lou Holtz looking on early. The Gamecocks struggled in the first half. Down 13-3 when Phil Petty delivers USC's first big play of the game, hooking up with Brian Scott. That's a 43-yard touchdown, and it made it 13-10. But Bama closed the first half with 10 unanswered points, including quarterback Tyler Watts on the keeper. Bama will drive down later into Gamecocks territory, but thanks to poor clock management, came away with only a field goal. Coach Lou Holtz led his boys into halftime down 23-10. Whatever coach told him at the half, he should bottle up and keep. To the second half, USC gets the ball and the freshman. Matthew Thomas comes up with a beautiful catch for 58 yards. Four plays later, Petty hooks up with Ryan Brewer. USC will cut the lead to 23-17. And now we're going to fast forward to the fourth quarter. Watch the Bama quarterback who ran for 162 yards Punches it in, 36-24, Crimson tied. These fans leaving thought they had seen enough, but USC was far from done. Derek Watson would take the ball in on this carry, cut the lead to 36-30. The Gamecocks would miss the extra point. The defense would hold and Phil Petty rallies his troop. Petty to freshman Andre Goss for 37 yards. Oh, you can hear the Gamecocks coming. Very next pay, the very next play, that's Petty to red shirt senior Rod Trafford. The game winner, USC beats Alabama for the first time, 37-36. The Gamecock faithful rushed the field, celebrated by tearing down the goalpost. Our Bob Shields was right there, and he has more on the Gamecocks. Impressive win. And what made this such an impressive win, Terry, was the way the Gamecocks won it. Down by 12 points in the fourth quarter, they showed as much guts and determination as any team we've seen here in williams Bryce Stadium. Once we knew, we saw that four minutes in the fourth quarter and we had one more chance, we were like, let's buckle them up, you know, let's, let's finish this thing out. Coming to halftime, I think we're down 10 or something. You know, the defense is upset, we're upset, but you don't quit. You don't, you don't quit on each other. You keep plugging, you keep, you know, you keep fighting for each other. You know, you keep, that's, that's the deal. You, just, you can't ever give up. You keep plugging and, um, you know, hopefully it's good things are happening. They do. I'm not going to get negative and I started thinking about all the yards. I think. What I'm going to focus on and what I did was the last two series on defense, the performance of the offense, the big plays by people, and how they never gave up. That's what I'm going to focus on with this team. It says a lot for this team. You know, it really is the attitude. You know, we know we can play with the best of them, and, you know, all we have to say is bring them on. Still perfect. 4-0 overall, 3-0 in the SEC. Next week, the Kentucky Wildcats come to town. Covering the Gamecocks, Bob Shields, News 19 WLTX.